this is just a quick test. This is a 3300 lumen BenQ projector, native 1080p. It is lamp. And it is about a little after five o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. And this is an OLED uh, test video, just readily available on YouTube. And you can see that even with the ambient lighting conditions, the sun's still over there, that we're pulling an image. And not a bad one either. Uh, the image is keystoned, which is gonna drop the brightness as well. Here's another uh, video, to give you an idea of the brights. So, I mean, the camera is lightening it a bit. So that, that's probably closer to what we're looking at in real life. But still, if I step back, that's not bad for being outside. I mean, we're still pulling a usable image. You're still getting contrast. I don't think you're gonna complain about that when you're inside. So all in all, for being outside a little after five o'clock, you're pulling an image in this kind of lighting, I mean, that's totally usable right there. Now, yes, these are bright images. I understand that. Um, still not gonna be ideal. Personally, I'd like um, a brighter projector just to pull out more detail in those, in those blacks and those darks. But for 3,300 lumens, about eight feet away, it, it, it ain't bad. You try doing this with a white screen, see how far you get. So this is that LG OLED uh, demo reel. You're not gonna get OLED quality out of this uh, particular product, but it's pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Again, it's after five o'clock. This is what we're getting. Sorry for the background noise. We're right on a major highway and it is rush hour. I'll try this with a white screen. See how far you get. All right, I went and I grabbed some white. So that gives you a rough idea of how much contrast you're really missing with white. How do you project black onto a white surface? Easy answer is you don't. Look at the detail that you're missing. And we've got a really wide viewing cone. No loss at all. Okay, I'm gonna cross in front. Look at that. Well, we're in between <laughs> transitions here. All right, everybody, a um, lot of questions about the color uh, that the paint is. So this is out about 3.30 in the afternoon. Pan around, the sun is bright and out. This is uh, what we're looking like. So yes, I am in the shade. This will not work in direct sunlight, at least not with my puny little projector. But this is the uh, what it looks like, and you can see here that I did an absolutely terrible job painting. But, got some streaks there. We're still able to pull some really good imagery off of this surface. All right, so we are outside, obviously sometime between 3.30 uh, and 4 o'clock. Not sure exactly. Um, obviously not stellar images, <laughs> as you might expect. Uh, I blame uh, the projector more than anything, but we are still pulling an image. It's not a great one, certainly. Uh, these are very dark scenes. 
Um, it's an OLED demo, so of course they're going to be uh, very contrasty. And overall, the tone is going to be very dark. Uh, some of you were asking to see the difference between uh, what the laptop is seeing and what we're seeing on the screen. So there's the laptop, there's the screen. It's one of the issues with LCDs is you have glare. That's why I don't like TVs. So I'll just do this a couple times. Obviously, that is backlit. This is not. And that backlight is contained within a shell, which is why it's so bright. This is wide open to the elements. And I gotta hold the screen because it's very windy. But you can see, I'm almost 180 degrees to the side of the screen, or 90 degrees to the side of the screen, and we're still pulling that same image. So no loss there, like you get with high gain screens. So I think we're gonna change videos now. <laughs> All right, I should get some better images here if I remember correctly. Ah, so this is a space-themed one. Let me stand in front here. So, that's what we're getting there. That's what we're getting on the screen. Not horrid. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Now, if I had a 6,000 lumen projector, yeah, we'd be, we'd be just fine. But you can tell that's a jellyfish. And again, you know, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. What do you want on a 3,300 lumen projector? So let's get the white sheet out and uh, let's see what that, how that performs. So you can see that there's something on the white, but without that contrast, it's hard to tell what exactly it is. Okay, that's a candelabra. It's a lot, or actually it's a chandelier, sorry. So again, there's a lot of moving pieces here. <laughs> let me just stop it. Okay, so we have, let me show you the whole image. So we have a chess board, okay? Now if I put my white there, okay, you can tell if you're familiar with chess that that's a queen, right? But look at the difference. Yes, you're gonna pull more bright with the white, but look at what you're losing, okay? There are limitations given the setup that I have, but it's still three o'clock in the afternoon. Let me step back here. We can see very clearly what's on that screen, okay? So hopefully that allays some of your fears. And I figured while I'm out here shooting, why don't I show you me? So I'm your friendly neighborhood distributor of this ALR projection screen paint. So my name is Tim Adams. Um, I'm in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. It's very odd weather for us uh, in February. Uh, the wind is a little insane right now, but other than that, not bad weather. Nice sunny day. Anyway, thank you guys so much for your, uh, your questions, your engagement, your support, uh, your interest. And again, if you have any questions, any comments, any thoughts, uh, 
put them up in the group and I'll answer them as best as I can. If I don't know the answer, I'll talk to the manufacturer and we'll get an answer for you. Yes, we do ship internationally. Uh, we do have all the customs documents ready to go. Uh, so just say the word. <laughs>